Now taking photos of moving subjects can be especially tricky if the light conditions keep changing, but they needn't be the case. Hi, I'm Paul from Photogenius, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use a mode on your camera that will nail the exposure nearly every time. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a mode called Shutter Priority. It's found in the DSLR cameras, mirrorless cameras, and most bridge cameras. And it's a mode that the professional sports photographers use and a lot of wildlife photographers use. And it is my mode of choice when taking photos of things that are moving, which for me tends to be maybe my boy playing soccer or my daughter doing gymnastics, or maybe a picture of Charlie the dog. So I'm gonna begin by showing you how to select the shutter priority mode. Here we have a Nikon D3400, and on the Nikon cameras, it's very easy. You turn the wheel round on the top of the camera. This is called the mode dial or the camera mode dial. If I turn it round so the letter S lines up with the little marker here, this camera is now in shutter priority mode. Now if I grab a Canon off the shelf, here we have the 1300D, um, same mode dial, but this time S is replaced by TV. TV stands for time value, but it is the same thing. Time value is the same as shutter priority on the Nikon cameras. Now the best thing about shutter priority mode is it allows me to select any shutter speed I like. So for example, if I'm taking a picture of my boy playing soccer, I want to select a fast shutter speed. And of course, I'm gonna be panning the camera and following the action as the play goes from one end of the field to the other. But the problem can be that you might have one end of the field which is very brightly lit and one end of the field that is in shade. But the great thing about shutter priority is I can lock in the shutter speed that I want and then the camera helps me out by adjusting the aperture and if I wish, the ISO. So my exposure is spot on every time. All I've got to do then is concentrate on following the subject and keeping up with the action. So let's put this to the test, starting with the Canon camera, we'll do the Nikon next. Uh, remember, on Canon cameras, shutter priority is TV. So I've selected that mode on the camera here and I've selected a shutter speed, which is one one hundredth of a second. Uh, that we can see just here. And you'll see that I've also set up, as well as the camera, a GoPro so you get to see the detail um, shown on the screen. Now, if I have the camera pointing at a light source, which is the window, um, if I press the shutter button lightly, I get a reading and the camera here has selected an aperture of f11, which is a small aperture. And that's because there's quite a bit of light coming into the camera via the window. But if I change the light source, by putting a gray card in front of the camera, the light source has now changed. And if I press the shutter button once again, we now see the aperture change into f3.5. So the camera selected a larger aperture to let more light into the camera because the gray card is there and the light levels have now dropped slightly. f3.5 with the gray card, f11 without the gray card. Aperture, changes because the light changes, but the shutter doesn't. I selected one one hundredth of a second, and that is my priority. That's why this is called shutter priority. You can lock in the shutter speed you want, and the camera then looks after the aperture to make sure that you get consistent exposures. It's a great camera mode. Now we're gonna do the same thing again. This time we're gonna get outside and put the Nikon to the test. Let's go. Okay, so we're out of the office now on the Brisbane Bay side, about five minutes from where our office is. Um, the ocean is behind me and we're putting the D3400 to the test. This time, um, same as before actually, I'm using the GoPro here to video what is going on on the screen on the back of the camera. Now the shutter speed I've selected in shutter priority mode is 80th of a second. And if I pan the camera around, you should see that the camera adjusts the aperture accordingly, closing the aperture down when we point it towards the light, opening the aperture up when we come round towards the shade. So the camera is looking after the aperture, which is exactly what this mode is for. Now, in this mode you can run into trouble sometimes if the shutter speed exceeds what the aperture can deliver. Um, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to dial in a much faster shutter speed now. This is 500th of a second and I'm going to repeat the same process. Bring the camera around, no problem at all at the moment, but if I bring the camera around to where the shade is, 
you may notice that the F number now is flashing and this indicates that the shutter speed is too fast and the camera cannot find an aperture that allows it to balance the light and this can be a problem but is easily fixed by increasing the ISO on the camera. So to solve the problem all I need to do is increase the ISO. I'm going to increase the ISO on this camera to uh, I'm going to go pretty high. I'm going to go a thousand ISO and now as I pan the camera around once again the camera has no problem at all finding an aperture that works because increasing the ISO makes the camera more sensitive to light. So if shutter priority mode isn't working for you and uh, this can be a problem in low light increase the ISO take it up enough so the F number stops flashing problem solved let's go back to the office so just to recap if you're taking photos of sports or maybe wildlife or generally moving subjects then the shutter priority helps you get the job done much easier it's my mode of choice when taking photos of things that move particularly sports events now, when you're using this mode, you can also adjust your exposure. And this is done via something called exposure compensation. And I'm gonna do a video just on this subject later on down the track. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. More videos coming soon. And of course, as usual, you can leave your comments and questions below. I'll see you next time. See ya.